one of our probably uh, most used publications as far as insecticide recommendation, recommendations go is our MP144, which is the insecticide recommendations for Arkansas. Uh, part of that publication is the uh, soybean recommendations. Uh, we have that in the uh, pro approximately the center of the publication. Uh, there are a few changes, not a whole lot of changes this next year coming up on soybeans. There are a few new insecticides that uh, look very effective for growers in the, co in the, in the coming growing season. Last year we had a big outbreak of soybean loopers and uh, there's a new product called Belt that was, uh, that's out that is in, in the book now that, that helped us a lot. We also have a rating performance chart at the beginning of each section. So you can look at that rate, rating performance chart and get an idea of how effective those insecticides are against uh, each of the particular pests. And the whole publication is broke down by not just by crop but each pest that's in that crop will give the pest the control recommendations for that pest and also at the front of it at each section be, be, below the uh, insecticide performance guide is a quick view threshold guide which gives the treatment thresholds for each of the uh, of the pests in soybeans. Uh, one of the things we did recently last year was we have changed a few of our thresholds uh, particularly for the corn earworm in soybeans. Uh, soybean prices and uh, that, that commodity has gone up and is, is more valuable than it used to be. And a lot of our thresholds are based on research that was done 20, 30 years ago uh, when yields were maybe you know, 30 bushels to the acre. Now we're getting 80, 90 bushels to the acre, uh, not uncommon in some fields. So, and, and the crop is worth a lot more. So uh, we've done some research, looked at some other states, and we lowered our threshold from four per row foot down to two to three per row foot. Your Arkansas Soybean Podcast is a production of the University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture and was funded in part by the Arkansas Soybean Promotion Board. For more information on soybean farming in Arkansas, contact your local county extension office.